Hello students. Let's try to learn structure of our eye easily. Our eye is made up of three parts, outer, middle, and inner part. Outer part is made up of two parts, one is cornea, whereas second is sclera. Cornea is clear, central and transparent region of our eye. Cornea is that part from where light enters into the eye, whereas sclera is snow-like, white, in color. Sclera maintain our eyeball's shape and protects inner part of eye from injury. Next is the middle part of eye, also known as uvea, and also divided into three parts, choroid, ciliary body, and iris. Two points to remember about choroid are, first, it is the thinnest middle part that cover two-thirds part of middle eye. Second, it contain blood vessel for eye nutrition, therefore, known as vascular part of the eye. Next part is ciliary body. Two important points about ciliary body are First, structurally, choroid become thick toward front to form the ciliary body. Second, ciliary body main function is to hold lens. Last part is iris. Three important things about iris are First, structurally, iris is the extension of ciliary body itself. Second, it is a pigmented region of eye and amount of melanin decide color of virus. Third, it also regulates the size of pupil. Middle part of eye also has two chambers. First one is aqueous humor. It is a thin, watery fluid. This fluid is present between the cornea and the lens and it nourishes them. Second chamber is known as vitreous humor. It is a transparent gel like fluid. This fluid is present between lens and retina and it allow light to reach the retina. Last layer of eye is the innermost layer named retina. It contains three layer of cells to convert light that enters into our eye into electrical signals. They are photoreceptor cells, bipolar cells and ganglion cells. Photoreceptor cells of retina composed of rod and cone cells. Cone cells to detect color through bright light, whereas rod cells are sensitive to low light. Bipolar cells are second layer of cells present in retina. These cells transfer visual information or signal to ganglion cells. Ganglion cells are third layer of cells present in retina. They are neurons, or, nerve cells, that carry information, that transfer, visual information, into the brain, via the optic nerve. Retina, has, some special region, on its surface, like macula, fovea, and blind spot. Macula, is the yellowish, pigmented spot. It is a place, where, very high concentration of cones, are present. This point, provide sharper vision, than, normal retinal vision. Whereas, Fovea is the thinnest portion of the retina. Here, only cones are densely packed. This point provide sharpest vision. And, the blind spot is place where photoreceptor cells are not present. It is the place where optic nerve and blood vessels leave the eyeball. Last, important part of eye is optic nerve. The optic nerve carries images to the brain where images are processed to create visual images. Here is exercise for your revision. Thanks for watching. Keep learning with concepts.